Welcome back to Good Morning Antigua Barbuda, Tuesday, 16th September 2014. I'm Brisella Marsh Sutton. Always a pleasure being in your company. Keep sipping your bush tea, drinking your coffee, your orange juice, or whatever it is that uh, starts your morning. Just make sure we are a part of it here on Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. Remember to check us out on www.abstvradio.com for all the news and information. That is www.abstvradio.com wherever you are in the world. You can stream us good morning to those in new york around north america uh, we really appreciate the fact that you wake up every weekday morning and you tune in to good morning antigua barbuda on the 20th of september we will be celebrating international coastal cleanup day that is international coastal cleanup day gavinia michael marketing executive flows and kizzy grant branch ambassador uh, they're here with us this morning from flows uh, formerly known as carib cable and they're going to tell us all about the international coastal cleanup and what are uh, they're doing to help good morning to you all good morning and you're wearing your nice flow community helper right. shirt first tell us about community helpers okay well as you know every company around the island gives back to the community in which they operate however we're not coming from the company's perspective we're coming as rep as the employee body okay so employee volunteerism that's the that's the basic aim and it's important, yes, we see customers coming in every day, you know, telling us about the different things that are affecting their lives. Like recently we had a customer who came in and said that her house got burned down and she lost everything. So basically she and her family are homeless. So, you know, so these are different things that we're faced with every day, especially the frontline staff and our technicians. So why not, hey, give back to the community in which we operate. We volunteer our services free of charge. Um, last year, our social committee would have given back to the care project. So to make it more annual, more monthly, more quarterly, the, so forth, we will look at various organizations on the island in how, in, and find ways in which we can give back to them, how we can assist them. If it's like painting a fence or cleaning up the beach, which we'll be doing on Saturday, or just going out and assisting any form of... Um, special organization out there that needs assistance from us. So this is basically the employees of the Flows em yes. uh, who came together and uh, put this group yes. and you're assisting persons in and around the island. communities yes. uh, and the island. So that's why we're dubbed that's Flow incredible. Community Health first. That is so very you see any of us and also all over the back so of our So turn back so yes. we can see and it says Flow volunteer. That is awesome. So, so in addition to that, whenever we take part in these programs, this is going to be our uniform. So that we will be a part of the flow volunteer. So we are part of the How program. long has this group been in existence? Well, officially branded like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Right. But we've always been there, a social group, you know, going out and offering our assistance. But now it's more focused more set up this is what we'll be doing this is how we'll be offering our assistance so every month the employees are challenged with giving us suggestions of what we can do how we can give back to the society is this mandatory or is it's pure volunteer pure in volunteer. terms of being at work you want to be a part of it volunteer. so how many persons are part of the group now well we have roughly it's around boring. it's boring we have roughly presently around 40 something but employees that's a lot yes so if we are volunteering our service to an event depending on the day because as you know we open from mondays to saturdays so for like the csrs who are unable to make it everyone else will be there unless they have some you know so they have a that they have to attend but 100 percent full participation in whatever we put ourselves out there to do and Kizzy this time around your partner you're partnering with the environmental awareness mm -hmm. group yes. this is significant it's because big. we hear so much about climate change mm -hmm. and to know that our uh, flow uh, you guys you deal with cable and that sort of thing you could just sit back go to work relax <laughs> get your pay and don't care about the environment this this is extraordinary tell me how you're going to uh, be a part of the international Co um, coastal cleanup day and about your partnership with the environmental uh, awareness group so what we have planned on september 20th that's saturday coming we're going to be at the runaway beach doing our cleanup from six to nine and that is how we are going to be putting ourselves with the eag so we're saying to our subscribers 
even the public, if you want to be a part of the full volunteer group, our call is Blue and White. You can come on out from 6 to 9, and we're going to be cleaning up the runway beach. Runaway beach. So you'll be cleaning that up from what time in the morning? From 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. From 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And I know that our people like to know, okay, are we going to get a treat? <laughs> after? Is there going to be some tea, some juice, uh, maybe some food? Talk breakfast to us. will be provided. Breakfast will be provided. Breakfast will be Most provided. Yes. And so that's a good incentive yeah. to, to get people out there. I know that during Carnival, Flo was a sponsor of one of the Queen. Carnival Queen yes. delegates. I hope that she'll be on the beach helping you guys. She should be. She should be. She better be. <laughs> she better be. You, yeah, so make sure you guys call and get her out there mm -hmm. uh, to help the environment, the environment uh, awareness group. Uh, what feedback are you getting from them? Are they pleased that you're coming on board? Yes, they're most definitely happy that we've approached them because actually we were supposed to do a bleach cleanup after the carnival season and Sophie that's one of the um, board members of the environmental awareness group mentioned to me you know September 20th is coming on um, even though you're doing this one I hope that your workplace would be able to contribute to that as well you know be a part of it and said you know what let's shift it and thus focus on International Coastal Cleanup Day mm -hmm. itself and also to reach out to other businesses. The hotel, Antigua Hotel Tourism Association has made it their um, task as well to invite other businesses and community groups out there to be a part of it. So it's very important, you know, ABS TV and radio can form a little group and adopt a beach. Yes. Different beaches have, I know have already been adopted. Some persons will be at um, Fort James, some will be at Fry's, some will be at Little Fry's and Darkwood and Jabawa. Um, but we have 365 beaches. So we can never so have we, enough. Exactly. And every day. And runaway beach. Runaway beach is a long stretch. So exactly. The more the better. The more the better. The and, the better. you know, every time you go to the beach, there's, um, unfortunately, you know, the condoms, diapers, the cups, leftovers, the, the, from every leftovers. We have to respect the beach. Uh, you know, we pride that the beach is just the beginning. And if we're going to be saying that as our tourism team, we're a tourism destination, oh, we right. have to show pride. You know, walk with your little trash bag when you go to the beach. So when you're finished using whatever it is, you just put it in the trash and put it back in your vehicle mm -hmm. and take it home to the nearest um, trash bag. 